What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today on this Saturday. I just got done playing some disc golf with some friends of mine and my brother-in-law had a good time. But we are now hanging out on our Clash Without Walls account. You can say that we've got, uh, we've got a pretty good amount of loot and you know what I'm going to upgrade? So this wizard tower right here is maxed out at level 4, but this lowly one over here is level 3, but not anymore. Actually, it is still level 3. It's still level 3 for 3 days, guys, but we are upgrading that, and it is about to do some serious damage to some fools. Let's go in here, see if we can research anything. So we can research our... Ooh, our heal spell. Should we do that or our wall breakers? Um, that's the question. What do this do? So that'll give us 200 more heal, which isn't that much. And, um, he'll do eight more damage, have a little bit more life. Why don't we go ahead and just upgrade that wall breaker as well. So we're upgrading the wall breaker. We are upgrading the wizard tower and we still have, uh, a couple more builders available. Let's see if we can upgrade, uh, why don't we upgrade a gold mine or something? So we'll upgrade this gold mine up to level eight. And then let's upgrade this gold mine up to level eight as well. That'll be a day. Um, and shoot, why don't we go ahead and upgrade another one? <laughs> so we're going to upgrade three gold mines, which is in turn going to help us uh, get some more resources when we are offline. And let's go ahead and pump this full of some troops as well. Then we're going to get an attack in. Hopefully we can find a good one uh, in the cup in the first couple of searches. And then I'm gonna show you guys uh, some defensive replays. I always think that they're funny. You know, I'm not expecting this base to just annihilate at defense at any rate, but it is pretty funny because it does hold up. Uh, it does hold up fairly well. Let's go ahead and attack this base um, from this top portion up here. And I'm using Barch, obviously. Obviously I'm using Barch because I've got my, I've got two of my barracks boosted right now and we are just going at it uh, having no problem whatsoever getting loot. So um, I'm finding bases like this that I'm just deploying pretty heavily on um, and just going around and taking out as much as I can. Uh, I do have way too many barbarians trained up right now though because I did it on accident. So I'm sorry about that. We're gonna try and get in up here uh, with the rest of these barbarians and we're gonna go in and take out the rest of that gold and maybe even make our way into that uh, Dark Elixir, which we honestly need to start farming so that we can have a Barbarian King um, up here on this base. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these Barbarians in here uh, and take out the rest of this gold. That Mortar is... looks like he's distracted. Yep, he's distracted on those archers over there. So with all these Barbarians on this gold mine and these archers, we should be able to take it out with no problem. And sadly though, we don't have any more builders available to upgrade anything. So. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, let that battle end up right there. And we got 115,000 gold. Super easy raid, guys. That's why I love Barch. Um, I normally just have two barracks boosted because I only have 107 gems on this from removing things and whatnot. Um, and you got to do archers in one of them and barbarians in the other one. Otherwise, you're going to end up with far, far too many barbarians. So uh, that is why that is set like that. Um, let me check something on here just really quick. All right, we're good. Um, so why don't we go ahead and we can't upgrade anything else because we've got our wizard tower upgrading. Uh, what are all of our, all of our army camps? Six, six, that one's five. We're going to need to upgrade this very soon, hopefully in the next video. Um, let's go and watch. First, I want to show you guys this attack, right? Was it this one? Yeah, this one right here had a lot of gold for me. As you can see down here at the bottom, I'm going to take out that one mortar. I wish I could take out both of them, but sadly I cannot. Uh, I was playing I was playing Call of Duty on my second channel, guys. Go check that out, Molt Plays. Um, it's in the description as well. I'm playing Call of Duty on there, Destiny, all those other kinds of games. It's a lot of fun. Um, but I was playing Call of Duty, and I uh, had this raid come up because I'll just click every 30 seconds or so, and I was like, Oh crap, so I went hit in a corner, deployed all my troops, had them just rush in, and then continued playing. Um, and we actually end up doing very, very well on the base. You can see we only have 114,000 of the gold yet, but our barbarians are heading in there. Huge, huge bomb right there. But the barbarians are able to take out that mortar right as the bomb goes off, which was our biggest issue in that raid. And now we're just going to come in here and the barbarians are going to say, you know what, I think I'm done with that elixir. I'm going to head over here 
to this gold. They're going to head right on over there to the gold. The archers are going to finish taking that out, and there is only going to be 16,000 of it left. Um, and I don't even know where it is. Oh, now I do. It's in the clan castle. So the rest of that gold is in the clan castle. 228,000 gold, guys. That is what I'm talking about. That is exactly what I'm talking about. But why don't we watch a couple of defense replays? So I haven't seen this one yet. This guy got 68%. Um, he has a dragon in his clan castle, I imagine. So he's going to start off taking off the town hall. You can see there's 180,000 gold available and 200,000 elixir available. He's going to drop off his giants right there. I don't know where my traps are, but I believe I have some spring traps right Okay. I guess not. <laughs> I thought it had spring traps right there. How many freaking giants did he deploy? I wasn't paying attention, but that is an absurd amount. But you can see these mortars are wrecking those giants because he didn't distract the mortars at all. Um, there goes some of them. There's a little bomb right next to him. They, all those giants, oh gosh, that heal spell though. Freaking clutch heal spell. Look at that. It's going to bring them all right back up to where they were. But all of our point defenses up at the top you can see have protected all of our resources in our mines and pumps. Uh, so definitely okay with that. But these mortars are now distracted on not as important things. Let's go ahead and fast forward this and see uh, how well he does. His giants are the problem. He has too many giants and not enough melee troops. Uh, so you can see all of this up here is just going to have fun. The rest of that elixir all this gold up here, uh, this gold over here, it's all just going to have fun. This gold right here, look at that. Um, so I guess he's going to end up, uh, you can see that he has. He only has his giants left, and there's a couple more defenses. He dropped, did you see that? He just dropped wall breakers. He just dropped wall breakers, that's hilarious. I want to go back and watch it now. So he dropped wall breakers at uh, towards the end, but you just saw we had 90,000 gold left over there. Um, let's go ahead and fast forward this. So you see he spread it out. He spread out his uh, troops towards the bottom. I don't know why he did. He should have dropped them off on the sides to get the rest of that loot. But here we go. We are going to see what happens with wall breakers on my base uh, without... Um, where are they? They're coming. I don't want to miss them. Deploy them. Here they are, look at them. Oh yeah, they're heading for that elixir storage. Let's see if they get it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Clash without walls. Bring wall breakers to my base. Everybody trains up wall breakers, they're gonna get to my base and be like, crap, I wasted troop space. So there's that defense, guys. We were able to protect 90,000 of that gold, which is pretty good. Um, half of the gold was protected uh, for the most part. So we're doing pretty well on this base still. It is a lot of fun for me. I can't wait for this wizard tower to be maxed out. Um, let's see, level five, level four, aha. So we can upgrade this bad boy too. We could have done that earlier. So that'll be in the next video as well. Hopefully our mortar and our army camp in the next video. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. Again, make sure I go check out my second channel, Molt Plays, playing Call of Duty and other games like that on there. And make sure you stay here, like my videos, and just keep on supporting because you guys rock and y'all have made uh, y'all made my life fun being able to make videos for y'all. So thank you so much for that. And hey, as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.